Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are just taking a quick look at V chain here and as we can see, looking like it is back inside this range now that we did basically highlight that it was in for a long, long time last year really, wasn't it? You can obviously see these big bear market resistances that do still need to be tested. This one here for V chain, it's very obvious up at around six cents that we're nowhere near coming and testing this, let alone breaking out of it. But this local, more local, you would say bear market resistance here, 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 and then finally here. Ha looks like it has been broken, which is interesting to see. And I do think that this is probably, you know, a sign, at least a sign of life for V chain. Obviously, on the macro, you can easily still say we're making lower lows and lower highs like this. And you could easily consider this another lower high followed by a lower low if we did continue to the downside in this bear market. But for now, VeChain, you know, it's on the way up, back inside the range. And really what we need to be seeing is we need to be seeing VeChain coming up here and making, you know, our higher high, don't we? Because obviously we've got our higher lows like this and this could still be a higher low and then continue to the downside. You know, if Bitcoin drags the market down, it's definitely going to see, we're definitely going to see VeChain getting dragged down to the downside as well, aren't we? If that is the case, obviously, VeChain is a great quality cryptocurrency, but in the bear market, things do just continue to get dragged to the downside. And you can see recently, obviously, we've had this decent little renaissance in the altcoin market for quite a few cryptocurrencies, but that does not mean by, mean by any stretch of the imagination that we can't just basically have a rollover and continuation to the downside until we see, you know, a few key things happening really for a lot of cryptos. We need to see you know, VeChain really coming up here and making a high high and a higher low and then coming back up and making another high high to see a full trend reversal on the daily, don't we? Otherwise, we're probably still going to be quite bearish. But you can see recently, obviously, we had that bit, that descending wedge that a lot of cryptos had. We fell outside of this range that we've been in basically for the entirety of last year from around May all the way to around November here. Resistance support, resistance support. We started to come up here and then we had the FTX collapse forcing the price action to the downside again. But now that we've come back inside the range, as I said, I will be trading the range until it breaks. And it's very, very clear here to me if you take a look at what's going on. Basically, what I said was we come back inside the range and then once we retested this area here, I would be putting a longing. And as I said in the last video yesterday, the long was triggered here and it's currently sitting in profit. I'm looking for the price action really to come up about halfway up this range somewhere here where I'd take profits. And if we do run our way all the way up to the top of the range like this, then I do have a short position waiting at the top of this range as well. I do think this is gonna be a very, very strong resistance in this area here, up at around that 3.4 cent level. I do think this is gonna be a very, very key level here that you'll probably see a drop from anywhere in that position. But realistically, you would wanna see this, wouldn't you? Obviously, we've got these bearish divergences coming in as well. So you've gotta keep your wits about you. You don't know what's gonna happen next, but Obviously, in the short term, I am still bearish on cryptos as pretty much all of them still have not shown me full signs that they are basically reversing the trend out of this bear market. We need to see much more much more evidence, in my opinion, that these the bear market is actually over. Obviously, a lot of cryptos are showing what we would call signs of life, but not necessarily signs that the, the trend to the downside has been reversed and we're looking for a bull market still. Obviously, we need to see this for Bitcoin predominantly because it will lead the market up as it always does and still does until obviously we see something flip Bitcoin most likely that will probably lead the market in the future, if that is the case. So until we see Bitcoin, you know, really coming up and breaking through some key levels and, you know, making higher highs and higher lows and heading out of those bear market resistances, then realistically at any point we could see a lot of cryptocurrencies essentially, you know, rolling over to the downside and continuing down. So in my opinion, it would be realistic to assume that, you know, until that such point in the short term, we are bearish. Mid to long term, I am bullish. I think VeChain and a lot of other cryptos are going to do well as well. But overall, I would say that realistically, you know, VeChain in the short term is probably going to head down again at some point, at least to uh, probably retest some lows down here before we do get maybe a W double bottom or something like this depending on what Bitcoin does, obviously. So that would be our analysis for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching indeed. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.